Hey everyone, my name is Jennifer and welcome to A Vintage Vanity. I am super excited for today's video because you guys are here. Also, I've been doing a little bit of redecorating in my bedroom and I kind of wanted to share this with you guys because my bedroom is a really small space. The house that I live in is, was built in the 50s. I know, very appropriate, right? And what that means is the closet is so small and you guys know I like my clothes I like my fashion and we can't always have a room dedicated to it so I thought why shove all my pretty things in boxes when I really like to actually see them so I wanted to share with you some of the storage things that I've done and also some of the great things uh, that I have kind of decorated the room with and I'm super excited for today's sponsor of this video is Lull Mattress so thank you guys so much for sponsoring the video and they were kind enough to actually supply something for my room which I can't wait to show you guys you guys are really smart, so you probably figured out what it actually is. So let me guy, let me show you guys around the space. I'm actually starting this room tour off in the area that is still in need of the most change, and that is actually my vanity area. But there's some things here I really, really like. Now, my vanity is actually not a vanity. It's actually a desk. Uh, this has been in my family since I want to say the mid to late 60s and back when I thought shabby chic was really cool I decided to do a crackle finish on this and yeah that needs to change so I am going to probably be stripping the paint off of this and doing something with this let me know in the comment section below what you think the best finish for this would be because I can't decide. I don't know if I want to add color here or if I want to go with more wood tones or what I want to do. The other thing I have yet to do is actually replace the chair. I've been on the hunt for the perfect low vintage chair for this space. I think it would really kind of mm, just tie it all together. So for the meantime, I have this um, folding chair. I know, very fancy. But one of my favorite pieces that I have bought, and this is probably not its final resting place, but I like looking at it every morning, is this artwork that I picked up at actually Origins uh, Game Fair. And it is a Star Trek poster done in a very retro feel. If I can remember the artist for this, I will link it in the description because he has some really great stuff. I want it all. It's amazing and I love it. Now, one of my recent additions and one of the things I love so much is my wall of accessories. I picked up these um, little shelves at Target. I actually got them as a gift from my sister. I painted them to be a color that would go well with the room. And then I have this um, tiki mug from my trip to Disneyland with JL. Um, you guys, if you follow me on the Sherbonder channel, YouTube channel, I'll link that in the description as well. I did a DIY video where I made this glasses holder that I absolutely love. And then I've gone ahead and filled the shelves with some of my vintage finds that just make my heart incredibly happy. And then what I did, which I absolutely love, these are command hooks that I've actually stuck to the bottom of these shelves to hang some of my bracelets off of. I thought it was rather ingenious, right? Makeup over here, I have some brooches and bangles in these little shelves right here. And then in these, I just have extra makeup, hair flowers, all that kind of stuff. And then I have this lovely little area to sit on, to put my shoes on in the morning. And in this, of course, is extra purses and blankets and all those lovely things. And here's where we have the thing that um, has kind of precipitated this whole change in my room, and that is my lack of closet space. For scale, this is me in my closet. Can't really fit a lot in here, right? Um, so what I did to kind of maximize space is I put a shoe holder on the inside of my closet so I can put my belts in it. I put some um, things like my hair accessories and these big pockets are perfect for crinolines. I just kind of roll them up and shove them 
in some of these bigger pockets. Absolutely great way to store crinolines. And then what I did as well is for things like my extra hair on my artificial hair and some of my cosplay stuff, I've put them all in bins on these racks on the bottom of my closet. And then I have, I think this is a shoe rack as well, but I have put like all like my ratty t-shirts for when I'm, you know, dyeing my hair and all my many, many pajamas that really aren't my vintage pajamas all in there. Um, I'm still having to reorganize this rack up on top. Okay, this is one of the areas of my room I love the most and it is my wall of clothing and what I did is I picked up these racks. They are rolling racks that I picked up from Ikea and uh, what I did is I actually used um, glue uh, to kind of glue the racks together so they wouldn't slide apart and it makes them a little bit more stable. So this is three racks actually glued together. <laughs> You know, it's, it's all a bargain. And then, um, yes, I am that extra that I went and got blue hangers to hang most of my clothes up. So I went with all my tops first. Uh -huh. Then we go into skirts, leading into dresses, and of course all the moo-moos in my vintage pajamas all back here. Absolutely so love this. Now... What I also did is I had these floating shelves and I hung those, or yeah, I guess I hung them, you hang shelves, right? I put these shelves up above the clothing racks. I don't know why words are so hard for me today. And I put, I don't know if this is weird, but I have so many hats that I love so much that I decided to get some styrofoam heads and displayed some of the hats that I am currently obsessed with and of course I painted the styrofoam heads blue to go with the color of the room I know I'm that extra right and then uh, one of my favorite um, vintage finds is this amazing uh, tourist purse from El Salvador so cute and this is actually uh, I think her name is Donna Malbus. I'll put her link in the description as well. This is actually the painting that inspired the color scheme of this room. And so then what I've done currently on the racks below, lined up some of my purses down there. And then over here is I picked up these shoe racks from Walmart and um, they fit almost exactly on these lower racks. So it's nice and sturdy. So it's actually kind of attached to the rack. And then down here underneath the dresses, it's, it's a little bit harder to see because of the dresses being so long, but I have this great hat box um, from Simplicity Vintage and I am storing some hats in there. Isn't that great? And then this is one of the other areas that I am absolutely in love with. And again, um, this piece of artwork that reflects the colors of the room, and this is from Art of Scooter. I won a giveaway that he did for this, and I'm so excited that I did. His stuff is amazing. I will link him below as well. And then on here, as most of my other accessories, so I have this little display to hang up all my earrings, and yes, they are separated by color. And then this little jar, I love this. It is, it is actually um, meant to store like extra hair that you brush so that you can make your own hair wraps. But I have filled it with some of my rings inside there. And then some more of my bracelets out. Uh, this is actually a can of that spray you use to protect your shoes. But don't tell anybody, it's a bangle holder. That's what we call it around these parts. And then I love this. Okay, so right back here we have the um, nap napkin holder, Kleenex dispenser, but it's actually not Kleenex. It's actually a wax tart warmer. Um, but I don't, I couldn't find one that was MCN or that I really liked enough that went with my room. So I figured it's just fine. I will put this over, matches my room, looks great, love it. And then these are, 
I've started labeling everything. It may not look like the cutest, but here's the thing is when I tend to put things in drawers, I forget I have them because they're tucked away and I don't know what's in there and I don't look in there very often. So I've started like labeling things so that I know where everything is. It's actually working out quite well. And then um, this is just um, my cat stuff. And then down here is actually my nerdiness. This is all my uh, D&D and RPG stuff stored down there. And we are back to my lovely bed. Um, the bedding is from Kohl's. It's just a uh, quilted bedspread and with the matching pillowcases. The pillows that I have back here are from... This one's from Home Goods. And this is either from like Home Goods or like Bed Bath and Beyond or something. I'm not quite sure, but I picked them up fairly cheap. It is a very low headboard. It's been handed down through my family. It is uh, the bed frame itself is from the 50s as well. So absolutely love it, and just a strong connection to the frame as well. But what's not so great is my mattress. Uh, so when Lull said that they wanted to send me a mattress, I said, uh, that sounds amazing because my back has been hurting when I get up in the morning and also I'm just restless throughout the night and part of that a lot of times can be a bad, either a bad mattress or you just your mattress is old and it's time for a new one. So I'm just waiting for my mattress to come in. I'm so excited. <gasps> Wait, that's the door. Okay, 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 okay. I think it's here. Okay, okay, hold on. Oh my god, I'm so excited. Oh. <laughs> Thanks, Lol. Clearly my cat is as excited as I am for this new mattress. Uh, I don't think I've ever lifted a mattress into a room easier in my life. So let's open up this bad boy and I think it's appropriate that I open it with my favorite teasing brush. See these teasing brushes, they're, they're, they're more versatile than we realize, right? You can open mattresses up with them. Ah. I have a smaller space, so my bed is a full size, so I got a full size mattress. <laughs> Very smart of me. And uh, it's crazy, but the mattress actually only comes up to about here in the box. It's just it's insane to me. Dude, that thing is packed. It, oh my good lord. I mean, I knew they could like compress these things down to ship them. But it's just, it's insane to me how they are fitting a big old mattress in here. So now let's go ahead and, I don't know, what do you think? Is the, is the easiest to tip it out? Probably not. This will probably go awry because that's my life. <laughs> to me I it, it, who has ever set up a mattress with just one person unless it was like a twin size bed because finagling mattresses is not easy to do and oh my gosh right isn't that insane it's like the size of a small trash can so I guess before I unwrap it let's disassemble the bed this is crazy to me. 
actually start to hear the mattress is already starting to like do is expanding oh, 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 oh. Make sure we don't cut the mattress that would be no bueno I know Remus look at this thing <gasps> I am officially obsessed right now I just want to sit and watch this thing expand. That's all I want to do. We're going to give this 24 hours to fully work its magic. And then we're going to make the bed at that point. And then we're going to try sleeping in it and seeing how magical our sleep is. But I am super excited. Is it? Guys, let me just talk about this mattress for a second. It has been amazing. I've been sleeping in it the past couple nights, and that's just the thing. I have been sleeping in it. I go to bed, and then I wake up when the alarm rings, and my sleep has been so restful. It's been amazing. And I was complaining about back aches before. I haven't had one. Uh, I sometimes would get, like, aches in, aches in my hip. Aches in my hip. Not anymore. I haven't had any issues with that, which has been amazing. Now, I was a little concerned about memory foam, thinking that it would kind of be too soft and swallow me up like a cloud. And that hasn't been the case. It's actually been firm in certain places and gives in other places. And from what I understand, it will actually conform to your body the more you sleep in it. So um, apparently, if I am sleeping well now in a couple of weeks from now, I'll be sleeping even better. So really looking forward to that and uh the other thing is I am I'm, I, I guess I guess you would say I'm like a hot sleeper because I always have to have the fan on I stick my feet out from underneath the covers and uh this bed has been really comfortable so it doesn't feel like it's uh like warmer or anything like that so temperature wise I've been sleeping really really nicely um, so I just want to say a big thank you to Lull for sending this mattress out. And of course, they thought of you guys as well. So in the description, you will find a link for a discount of $150 off your mattress from Lull, which is so great. And the other thing is they offer free shipping, free returns, and a 100-day uh, trial of your mattress, right? Now, so that is it. I hope you guys really enjoyed today's room decor makeover video. Now, be sure to let me know in the comment section below some of your favorite tips for organizing your space. And if you like this video, go ahead and click the thumbs up. And of course, if you don't want to miss any of the videos that go up on this channel, make sure that you are subscribed. You can go ahead and do that by clicking on my face. And if you're going to miss me between uploads, be sure to follow me on all the social media as a vintage vanity. If you want to keep watching more videos, go ahead and click that video you see on the screen right now. And of course, I hope you guys have a great day and I will see you soon. Bye.